Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on three angle laws. This video will highlight three important laws in geometry that relate to three different types of angles. In geometry, another word for laws is theorems. So let's look at theorem one. If two or more angles meet at a point, then their sum is equal to 360 degrees. That's the theorem, and here's the first example. A very simple one, because there's the point, and we have two angles at this point, 248 degrees, so let's pretend that's 248 degrees. This one must be 112, because when you add the two of them together, that gives you 360 degrees. It forms a complete circle. You'll note from an earlier lesson that that's a reflex angle and that's an obtuse angle. This is only one specific example involving two angles and there are many, many others. Here is a specific example involving three angles and here they are. If you add those three angles together, they add up to 360 degrees and that's what the theorem says. For example 3, we have four angles here that meet at a point. One of them is unknown and three of them are known. If we use this theorem, we can form this equation. So M plus the other three angles add up to 360 degrees. M plus 282 degrees equals 360 degrees. So M must be 78 degrees. Theorem 2. When a straight angle consists of two or more angles, the sum of the angles equal 180 degrees. So for example 1, here is a straight angle and we have two angles here. If that's 120, that must be 60. You add those two up, you get 180 degrees. This is one specific example and there are many others. Here is another example, for example 2, where we have three angles. Okay, So the straight angle consists of three angles, an unknown angle and two others. Because of the theorem, we can form this equation. So M plus 95 degrees plus 42 degrees equals 180 degrees. So M plus 137 degrees equals 180 degrees. So M must be 43 degrees. And the third theorem, which is very straightforward, vertically opposite angles are equal. For the first example, this is a specific example. So we have this line intersecting that line at the point O. So 145 is vertically opposite to that angle, so that must be 145. 35 degrees is vertically opposite to this angle, so that must be 35 degrees. So this is a specific example. Knowing theorem 3, we can find these two unknown angles. So find M and K. If that is 60, this is vertically opposite to the 60, so K must be 60 degrees. If that's 120, M is vertically opposite to 120, so M must be 120 degrees. So this video has introduced three basic theorems in the area of geometry, and when we know these th uh, three theorems, we can solve very simple problems. And as we move on in our years of schooling, many other theorems will be introduced in the field of geometry.